I'm Willie D, the sports chassis guy. And if you like sports chassis, you're probably a little wild like me. I'm Willie D, the sports chassis guy. And one great thing about owning a sports chassis is not only can you pull a gooseneck, but you can also pull a fifth wheel. This truck already has a pre-drilled plate, so it's only gonna take four steps to get this hitch installed. So the first step you're gonna need to do is to go ahead and assemble the lower base of your unit. You're gonna wanna make sure that the sticker is on the inside, and whenever you are assembling this, it's already pre-threaded, so it's gonna make it really simple. You just take your bolt, and one thing I've found is if you use your foot right here to kind of balance it, you're letting the truck hold the really heavy piece, and then that way you can make sure it's all lined up really nice and snug and go ahead and get those all twisted in there just like so and then you're going to want to go to the back piece and do the exact same thing so you're going to go ahead and grab your impact and the socket that you're going to need on it is going to be a one and one eighth so that'll save you a little bit of time keep going you ready yeah. So the next thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to go ahead and take your base unit and put it into the rear of the truck. So once you do that, it's going to make it very simple. You'll see exactly where to drop your bolts. And right here, it makes it super simple. So you can go ahead and put that bolt in there. And if you notice, both of these are a square. You're not going to have to have anything up top. So this could easily be a one-man job. So in the second step, I went ahead and took the base of the unit, dropped it in the designated area, put in the bolts, and went ahead and got them tight. One pro tip that we do here at Wade's RV is we take undercoating and spray the hole underneath of the truck so you're not going to have any corrosion on your bolts or the nuts as well. The next step that I'm going to have to do is just take the head piece of the unit and drop it right in its saddle and it'll fit nice and snug. Now the last and final step, all you're going to have to do is take your rod right here, stick it through these holes, the eyelets make it really nice and easy to slide right through there, and then you take your secondary pin and pin it here. The only other step you're going to have to do is grab your trailer and hit the road. Thanks for watching. If you like this video or you want more information, make sure to contact me. I'm Willie D, the Sports Chassis Guy, and if you're interested in one of these hitches, you can contact Sports Chassis located in Clinton, Oklahoma. Thank you.